speed and quicker release. There was Jim McMahon, the BYU great, who was number two. And alone at the top at the start of this year stood Duke's Ben Bennett. And then along came the crown prince, named Flutie. Too small, said the critics, as he pushed by Herman. Too fragile, said others, as he scrambled and dodged and weaved his way past Elway. Always a criticism, and yet up the ladder he rose, past McMahon and even Bennett to number one, the top career passer in college history. Electrifying, charismatic, and devastating. He is admired by teammates and fans alike. And when it's all said and done, he'll most likely leave this game with something the others never captured, the Heisman Trophy. Boston College teammates face an angry Miami Hurricane team who have a pretty fair country quarterback themselves by the name of Kozar, Bernie Kozar, tall and strong arm. This sophomore signal caller can throw with the best of them, and if the Eagles are not careful, Kozar will take them deep for six. With their talented core of receivers, the Canes are a threat from any point on the field. Flutie versus Kozar, a duel at high noon between two of college football's top quarterbacks as Boston College meets the Hurricanes of Miami, live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. CBS Sports presents College Football. Live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, it's the Eagles of Boston College versus the Miami Hurricanes. Today's game is sponsored by the 1985 Jetta, the new affordable German road car from Volkswagen. The U.S. Army, a place to be all you can be. And by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company, we're going to be there for you. So it is Boston College against Miami, and this is not a Chamber of Commerce weather day in South Florida. It has been raining hard throughout most of the day, and of course, Doug Flutie and Bernie Kosar will be affected by that wind that has been gusty. Kosar, the young man who is now getting ready for his confrontation against Doug Flutie. A year ago as a freshman, he led the Hurricanes to a national championship. And across the way in the Boston College locker room, Doug Flutie, who could be just a week away from earning the Heisman Trophy, is getting ready now to bring the Eagles out for their battle here against the Hurricanes in the Orange Bowl. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. I am Brent Musburger, and what a confrontation this should be. Boston College, of course, headed for the Cotton Bowl, where they will probably be taking on Texas, although the Longhorns still have to get past Baylor and Texas A&M. As for the Hurricanes of Miami, they're angry, I said earlier. That's because they were humiliated a couple of weeks ago by Maryland. Opened up a 31 to nothing lead and then lost the game 42 to 40. And as a result, instead of going to the Orange Bowl, where they had an opportunity to defend their national championship, they have had to settle for the Fiesta Bowl. So many confrontations today. A pleasure to be working with Aaron Parsig and Ann Pat Hayden. And Pat, we have got two coaches here who have done superb jobs. Well, Jack McNell has had a re remarkable success at Boston College. Two years ago, he led them to their first bowl game in 40 years. Last year, they won the Lambert Trophy, signifying the best team in the East. This year, they'll be playing on January 1st, and they win another Lambert Trophy. He's done two things in tandem, which are difficult to do in college football, Brent. He is one, and he's won so in an exciting fashion. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, well, he's had an ex exceptional year at Miami as well. He came here under adverse circumstances. And inherited Howard Schnellenberger's staff, didn't have a spring practice. They're defending national championships team. They've won eight games against very stiff competition. All right, Pat, I look forward to hearing what you're going to say about Flutie and Kosar, and I want to know what the coach has got to say about how we're going to stop these two quarterbacks, and we'll have that story when we continue after this commercial and a message from your local station. Uh, 